No, I'm just kidding. The first exercise that we're gonna do today is actually this one. Ready? I was not kidding about this exercise. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna need to rewatch this one in a slow motion afterwards. Um, all right, so the first exercise for rumba, I want you to be clear that we're doing an American style rumba and the biggest difference is that we have our knees bent, kind of soft, so you don't have to always think about having them straight like we would have in international style rumba. So the first exercise now, I want you to keep your feet apart, approximately like your shoulders, maybe a little bit wider slightly. And what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna simply shift my weight from my right side to my left. This is just the beginning. So I go back and forth like this. I'm really keeping my core relaxed, my hips are relaxed so I can achieve more movement there. And then after maybe 10 or 20 times of doing this, what I want you to do is a little bit more advanced version. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the figure eight. So what I'm gonna do is every single time that I'm shifting my weight, instead of moving my hip just side to side, I'm gonna move my hip a little bit forward, like diagonal, and then it's gonna go backwards. My left hip is now, I'm gonna turn around after a few times, but I'm gonna show first of all from this angle. So I'm moving to the side, but my hip is going forward a little bit, and it goes back. I'm moving on my other foot, my hip is going diagonal, back. Diagonal, back, diagonal, back, and one, two, one, two. My knees are relaxed, they're a little bent. That actually helps to have more grip with the floor. So I'm going slow, quick, quick, slow. I'm really trying to have that rotation with my hips, which is called that figure eight. When my hip is moving forward and then backwards, forward and then backwards. I'm gonna turn around so you can have a different perspective now. All right, so again, the same thing. Feet are apart, and now I'm gonna start moving my weight from my right to my left, from my right to my left. And now, once you start feeling more comfortable with that, I'm gonna start moving my hip forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Slow, quick. Quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. I'm really trying to move my hip forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. So that's a great exercise for you to warm up, to get yourself more into rumba mood. Because as you all know, rumba is one of those dances that we really use a lot of hips. Yeah, and I think all of us are enjoying that really. Uh, so I'm gonna show that one more time. Now, when you're moving your body weight here, for now, keep both of your feet flat on the floor. Even though my body weight is mostly on the ball of my foot, my heels are still touching the floor, but that doesn't mean that they have much of my body weight on them. So I'm going back and forth between my right and my left foot, but my feet are standing flat. What I'm using is I'm using my knees here. You don't have to have a lot of this. Just a little bit is fine. Just think about that. Imagine that figure eight, like an infinity kind of figure, that you're constantly moving that way while shifting your weight. Yes, but more on a serious note. This is way more important. Okay, so I hope you guys are gonna keep uh, working on the, on the figure eight and your hip movement. Now, let us review the, uh, the routine that we did last time. So I'm first of all gonna dance facing you and then I'm gonna turn to the wall and I'm gonna do it uh, a couple times so you can see me well. And then I'm gonna start a little bit talking about technique. So, from the very beginning, as you remember or you don't remember, that's fine. I'm gonna start with the box step. So my right foot is gonna go backwards. And so I'm going slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. I'm gonna go to the side now, quick, quick, slow, right foot backwards. 
quick, quick, slow, and then I'm going to do the underarm turn. I'm gonna turn, quick, quick, slow, just like that. Let's do this one more time. And so from the very beginning, everyone is ready. I wish I could see you, so I know everyone is ready. And here we go, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. To the side, backwards, quick, quick, slow, turn around, quick, quick, slow. Now, after this, I'm gonna continue to move to my left side here, left arm, to the same side. We're gonna do those side rocks, cross over with side rocks, and I'm gonna go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and then quick, quick, forward and then from the beginning I go into rumba quick quick slow this is my only workout in a while so I'm very sorry I'm resting now I'm gonna turn around gonna do the same routine so I think you have a better view now okay I'm gonna start so everyone is ready right foot backwards and slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick to the side Back, quick, slow turn, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and then quick, quick, forward to the side from the beginning. Okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go now more into, we're gonna talk a little bit about a couple of things. So, First of all, no, no, not yet, okay. Uh, so, first of all, what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna talk about how we can connect that first exercise that we did with the figure eight, the rotation that we were talking about in the beginning, and how can we apply that, especially to the steps such as uh, the crossover with the side drop that we're doing in this short routine. So, because technically, this is basically the same thing. When I'm moving from one foot onto another, I'm kind of rocking from one foot to another. So what I want you to do, we're gonna do just a crossover with the side rocks a couple times. And I'm gonna, well, first I'm gonna do, do facing you so we can hear. So I want you to stand on your left foot. Your right foot here is on the side. It has no body weight, but I'm gonna move my right foot here. So I'm gonna do this slowly going quick quick slow and now as i'm gonna turn towards you look what i'm doing i'm doing the same exercise we did in the beginning i'm going forward and turn figure eight again forward and then figure eight okay i'm gonna do this one more time let's start from here so, my body weight is on the left foot and I'm gonna move with my right foot here. And, quick, quick, slow, going quick, quick, slow, again here, quick, quick, slow, and then again, figure eight. So, if you practice that step, that exercise that I gave you in the very beginning of the lesson, and you feel comfortable enough, and you will feel comfortable more and more and more, the more times you do it, the better you're gonna feel, uh, those certain steps are going to also feel more comfortable and much easier. Now, I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna do the same step so you can see the hip movement and uh, my footwork as well, okay? So I'm gonna start from here. Again, I'm, and first of all guys, you're all doing a great job. I can definitely tell because I can see you. You're doing a good job, yeah. So, I'm gonna start again on my left foot. Here and I'm gonna turn here. Go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Forward, quick, quick, slow to the side, quick, quick, slow. I'm gonna do this one more time. Now, the idea here is the reason why I'm, the way I'm moving my hips is I'm moving them because I'm shifting my weight. So if my weight is on my right foot naturally my hip is supposed to be moving to my right side. If my hip is on my left side, that means my body weight is also on the left foot. 
Yeah. So that's the key. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. So here. And quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and then quick, quick, slow. So that would be the main thing that I would like you to work on and when you're practicing, when you're doing this little routine on your own, uh, don't rush, do it slow, and then as you're shifting your body weight, eventually you're gonna start feeling that your hips are kind of unlocking and you're able to have more and more rotation. You're gonna have more freedom in your hip movement. So, let's do it from the very beginning. But, now actually I want to do just the very beginning, a couple times, just the box step. Because even though the box step is the basic step, but even the advanced dancers are still using that step. It's a very popular step. Uh, now, so the way I want you to do your box steps now is similarly. It's also every single time I'm shifting my body weight, I'm shifting my hip also to the right side or to my left. I'm going on my right foot, on my left, on my right, on my left on my right, on my left. So every single time I'm shifting my body weight, my hips are also doing the same thing. I'm also shifting my hips from my right to the left. Forward, to the side, shifting my weight, backwards, to the side, and shifting your weight. You're gonna turn around here. So just a box step really slow, but every single time you shift your weight, I want you, I want, I want you to move your hip all the way on your right foot or all the way on the left foot, okay? Let's do the slow motion. So, right foot backwards and slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, and slow. Just to give you an idea how the same box step would look like if I wouldn't be using my hips. Just simple box step. And slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Yes, so you can kind of see really the difference there. Uh, now, okay, so let's do the entire thing from the very beginning with that one goal in our mind. Shifting the weight and involving my hip movement at the same time. It, it kind of works like a T, yes. If one is not working, if I'm not really shifting my weight correctly, I'm gonna struggle with my hips. If I'm not really, if my hips are really, really tight, I'm gonna struggle with my balance. Now, so I'm gonna do this first of all facing you from the very beginning. Now, right foot backwards, slowly, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. To the side, quick, Quick, slow, right foot goes backwards. Quick, quick, slow. And I'm gonna turn around. Quick, quick, slow. And now, I'm gonna step to the left side here. And quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And then quick, quick, left foot goes forward from the beginning. And I go back into the box step. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay, I'm gonna turn around, here. Right foot goes backwards, and slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow. From the beginning, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. So a short routine, but I chose these steps because it pretty much covers a lot of things in American Rumba. Starting from the basics and going into advanced technique and even some of the steps, like the last one is also more advanced. Uh, now, my last point for this routine is while you're doing that, many of you might wonder, what do I do with my arms? And I will tell you, <laughs> this might work. Uh, so, actually what, I, what you can do is just simply keep your arms close to your body 
and keep them relaxed because our goal right now we're not working on arm styling uh, we are working on a hip movement and our body weight place, placement so when you're moving here just keep your arms at a comfortable position for you so you can give all your attention to your hips and to your steps okay so I think what I'm gonna do for the very end I'm gonna do this routine more like with a regular speed so you can have an idea how it would look like because I'm always doing that slowly so then also later on you can rewatch it uh, but I think I'm gonna do it facing the wall okay so I'm gonna do it now for you starting with the right foot backwards and I'm gonna do it a little bit faster okay and so by the way it's on the left foot I'm gonna start right foot backwards and slow quick quick 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 slow and quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow okay so that's it for today thank you guys for joining me I hope you have a great week and uh, every single day I know that we're getting closer to actually meeting all of you in the studio so some positive thoughts there thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day